In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add multiple site level radar images to your map. The default map in Weather Defender contains two radar options National Composite, which is good for regional or like national views, but it's not very high resolution. Uh, and then there's also Local Radar, which is good for uh, small scale, it's high resolution, but uh, it's limited in scope. For example, um, if we zoom in here on this uh, rain thunderstorm moving through Texas and Louisiana, we switch it over to a local radar map. You can see that much higher resolution. However, it's limited in scope to just this part of the screen. If we zoom out, we only get that part. So this tutorial is going to show you how to get the best of both worlds by adding multiple local radar images. Okay, the first thing we want to do is turn off any radar images that we currently have on in the map layers window. So we have a blank map here. Uh, and then we're going to add site level radar images using the layer browser which is located here. However, I will say before you do that, make sure that your map is unlocked. It's currently showing as locked here. Also in the map layers window, there is a padlock here. This should show as an open padlock to make sure that you can add more layers to your map. So then we're going to go to map, add layer, and this will pop open the layer browser. And then we're going to go into the radar category. And this will display the radar selector. This is very easy to use. Basically, all of the white dots are individual radar sites that you can add to your map. So all you need to do is click on a dot and then click Add to Map. And you'll see that immediately it shows a new layer option in your map layers window. And it's downloading some data here. And if we minimize this, we should see, in fact, there's the site. Okay, so now we have uh, added a custom site level radar to our map. And we'll go back in the layer browser and we can add a few more. So let's add uh, Houston to the map and maybe uh, New Orleans and, and Fort Hood. So then, as you can see, we have our new site level radars over here on the left. We have multiple regions covered over here on the map. And uh, we are effectively tracking a wide area with high resolution detail on the radar imagery. You can really add as many radar sites as you want. However, we would strongly encourage you to try to limit the number of radar stations to only what you really need to view. Uh, reason is that the more layers you have on your map, the more uh, of a performance impact there will be. Now one of the things you might notice is that there's some overlap going on here between the uh, radar images. And that's okay, that's on purpose. These sites are designed to be geographically redundant. Um, so what you can do with that, if you want a certain site to show up on top, for example if we wanted the, the Lake Charles to show up on top, we could simply drag that to the top of the list and it would readjust the radar images so then that one is showing on top. There's also things you can do with transparency and palette coloring but we won't get into that in this tutorial. So that's how to add multiple radar sites to your map and weather defender. Thanks for watching.